Hey guys, welcome to part two of our Entertain Links News Rewind Comic Con special. One of the highlights of Comic Con is movie and TV trailers. Studios like to show them, audiences like to watch them. So in this episode, we're going to talk about all the movie trailers that got us excited. Check it out. First up, Warner Brothers released the highly anticipated full trailer for Batman v Superman. And this one I would say is a lot better than the previous one. We actually find a reason to why Bruce is angry. We get to see Lex, well, Lex with hair. We know that he's going to be without hair at some point in the movie. We've seen some promotional stills of that. But with this one, we can see he clearly still has hair. We also get to see Wonder Woman both in civilian clothes and in a Wonder Woman garb. So that looks interesting. However, I'm still not sold in this movie yet. Visually, I know Zack Snyder is going to do something great. He's always been great with the visuals, but I'm still not sold on the story and I'm not really sold on why Bruce is angry. I don't buy the story they're trying to tell me. But that being said, it's a very exciting and energetic trailer. A lot of people will like it. We'll see if the movie's any good when it's released next year, March 25th, 2016. Next up, we have another highly anticipated Warner Brothers DC movie in Suicide Squad. Actually, this trailer was not supposed to be released outside of the con, but some fans filmed it on their cameras and leaked it online. So Warner Brothers did the smart thing and released the actual trailer in all its full HD glory. And I must say, this is still my most anticipated Warner Brothers DC movie. But purely because I love the director David Ayer. He wrote Training Day, he directed End of Watch, and he directed Fury. So I think he can bring something really interesting to Suicide Squad. We also got to see great shots of the characters. We got to see Viola Davis's Amanda Waller who looks menacing and in charge as usual. Got to see Will Smith as Deadshot. I'm still not sure. I mean, I don't hate it. I don't love it either. I'm just curious to see where it goes. Got to see Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. I guess they dialed back a bit on some of her kind of comedic craziness. I'm not sure again from the trailer itself. I also like what they've done with Killer Croc, making him look like some kind of half human, half crocodile type hybrid, rather than making him a human with some kind of skin disorder. That's really great. And finally, the money shot. We got to see the Clown Prince himself, the Joker, and I like it. You know, a couple weeks ago we got a press picture of the Joker. People didn't like the tattoos and the grill. But I think seeing it in film, in motion, it actually works for me. You know, the Joker is one of those characters that's been done so many times in comics and animation and film that you could easily just copy someone else. And I like interpretation because I think it still keeps the essence of the Joker, yet it brings its own version to the screen. I like it. I can't wait to see where this goes. And last but by no means least, we got a new trailer for Star Wars The Force Awakens. And you know what? I loved it. That was actually the trailer that had me the most excited. Partly because it technically wasn't even a trailer. It was more a sizzle reel with some behind the scenes stuff, cast and crew interviews. They threw in some new footage that we hadn't seen before as well. But it was more of a, like a nostalgic trip down memory lane without showing us old footage in a weird way. It just had that feel and you could tell that it was more the filmmakers saying, hey guys, remember Star Wars that you love? Well, it's in good hands. Look, we're actually shooting in real locations. We're actually using practical effects as opposed to filling it up with green screen CGI. Though there's a little bit of green screen and CGI to help enhance the practical effects. You know, they had shots of Han Solo looking older but still looks cool. We had shots of Princess Leia in her military garb, probably talking to some new generation of rebels. We also got to see Simon Pegg presumably filming a cameo as some kind of alien creature. He was wearing a bodysuit of some sort but he didn't have the head on. I actually like that kind of cameo where you have no idea what actor's under that suit but he's still in the film. You're looking through the credits, you're like, hey, Simon Pegg's in this movie? Wow, that's crazy. I like that a lot. I'm excited for this movie. December 18th can't come quick enough, but I'm excited that it's this year. I don't have to say the film's coming out next year anymore. Star Wars comes out this year, guys. Get very excited. Anyway, that's it for this Comic-Con special of Entertain Links News Rewind. For more up-to-date news, follow us on Twitter at Entertain Links or visit our website, entertainlinks.com. You can go there, check out all the trailers that I've been talking about. Tell me how you feel about it. I'll put the links in the description below, so don't worry about searching for them. I've been English Dave, and this has been an Entertain Links News Rewind. See ya.